We're in a reclaimed 1880s industrial factory that we named Basilica Hudson in 2010. You know, it is named Basilica, which is the Italian word for church. Your spirit lifts walking into a space that has such high verticality. It's huge, but intimate. It's a strange beauty, and I see everyone else experience the same thing, whether you're coming to have a wedding here, or be a performer here, or have a speaking series. People walk in and there's an immediate respect for the space. As much as we've busted our butts here for 13 years, I still feel that love and admiration for it when I walk in. Basilica Green is creating a net zero campus uh, that is fossil fuel free. So we'll have a solar array built out of mass timber that will provide enough electricity to power our new heat pump systems that are doing a new radiant slab. We are removing all existing fossil fuel infrastructure from the building. So we're trying to show this as a template that you can take these huge behemoths and actually still have them green. So the Basilica Hudson, founded in 2010, is the big sister project to the River House project, which is a reclaimed 1903 elementary school that is on the bluff overlooking uh, the Basilica. So welcome to the River House Project, reclaimed and dubbed to be a film media design hub. The building was in horrendous shape. It had sat abandoned for decades. So again, when we walked in, I saw the glory of, oh my God, imagine the filmmakers and the designers, we could all be sitting here having meetings and creating amazing work that goes out into the universe. But what are we gonna do about the fact that there's water coming in from every corner of the building and the whole the floor was a wave, like a like an ocean wave. It was so outrageous. And we just started in the basement and jacked our way up per floor. And once we got to the attic, we needed to jack that up about seven inches. But because the center had fallen in and pushed the wall out, so we had put brought the wall in four inches. So there's about 200 jacks in this building at one point. Um, and then once we got that stabilized, we worked our way down. And this building was really almost at the point of no return. So there was a ticking clock that if, you know, another decade that it sat, it would, it would, it would not be able to be repaired. So we just kind of got at the last possible moment to bring it back to its to its glory. This used to be the boiler pit for um, steam heating that powered, that heated the radiators in each room. So by taking the mechanicals and using heat pumps, we were able to put those outside, gain this space back, and now turn it into the state-of-the-art movie theater that people can either screen movies or color correct. Historic buildings are an inspiring place to be for creatives because of the innate beauty but also I think of the creativity of reclaiming it and it's part of a creative process of reviewing what was this before how do you reinvent it it's about invention and reinvention the most beautiful attic in the Hudson Valley we only have one life each of us and all of these buildings and all of these places have had many, many, many thousands of lives and it gives a sense, like a reason of existence of finding your tiny speck of place and time in the big picture of the planet Earth, of the universe, or of Hudson, New York. <laughs> and I think it's really important that if we are thinking of these old buildings in terms of century longevity, that we do think of climate change and we do think of the long-term effects on climate change, on infrastructure, on rising seas that will destroy a lot of these buildings. Um, and so it's really important that we start to save these buildings. We start thinking forward of how to reduce our fossil fuel reliance immediately and figure out how to draw it down.